Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. Cancers, oh, I gotta say, man. Okay, so I was shuffling your decks. I just set the deck down because the four cards that dropped out are major arcana cards, and they're all absolutely fabulous. Like, already, like, I kind of started shaking because the energy is really powerful, man. And this is what's coming up for you this next week, okay? Um, for like the next five days, right? We'll do a five day forecast. Um, but yeah, I was asking, you know, what's going on with your energy in the next five days, right? And all of this came out. All, I think you're gonna, I think someone's gonna get an absolute awareness um, of this connection. I, I feel like it, you're aware of things too. Like I think you're gonna get some kind of confirmation that you in fact could be a, um, a divine feminine. You may have questioned that in the past, I feel. Um, I'm like, literally, I'm shaking. Cancers. Four major arcanas out, and they're all absolutely fabulous. Let me get through my spiel, okay? Cancers, my darlings. This reading is for the collective. It is not going to resonate with everyone, but man, this is intense, and it's it feels really good right here. Um... So anyway, I do hope this resonates with you, but um, just take what does resonate and leave the rest, okay? And thank you to everyone for all of your support, your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything. It all adds up to you guys being the kindest people in the whole entire world. And we're, we've joined forces here. Um, uh, collective energy as a, as a soul tribe and, and growing together. And I just love you guys. I love you guys for all of this. So thank you. Okay, Cancers. I'm really psyched about this reading. Okay, can you tell? Um, yeah, you've got four major arcanas out here that just plopped right out when I, when I was asking what's going on with Cancer's energy, Cancer's energy for the next five days, you know? Um, and all this cool <laughs> you've got happiness here you've got the sun card lovers you could be on a soulmate uh, uh, you could have a soulmate uh, twin flame connection okay this could be a twin flame like I can barely talk I'm so excited um, and I can feel it here I feel like this is this is a oh, kind of moment you know full awareness I feel like you're going to get some kind of confirmation or something. You personally, Cancer, you personally, that sheds the light on this whole twin flame soulmate connection. It just, it, 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 um, oh man, it's just beautiful energy. I feel like you're getting confirmation that, that you in fact are a part of this. You in fact are um a chosen one you in fact are a divine feminine like you're gonna get absolute a message that you can't deny you know it's gonna be stunning um and and i also feel like that's what's going on with this masculine too this is like an awakening to me the sun an awakening um but it's also the divine trying to bring you guys together um on this twin flame soulmate journey so that you can create these high vibes together, you know? And then we've got the Wheel of Fortune here and Justice came out together. Um, and at that point I stopped. I don't even, I didn't touch the deck. I just put a seat. It's a mess. But um, the Wheel of Fortune, this is a new cycle starting, an old cycle ending, okay? You know that, though. Um, you, I feel like you, uh, it's going to be confirmed to you. You may have questioned it before, but it's going to be confirmed. Oh, look at all this beautiful, warm sunlight brilliance here. Cancer, this is beautiful. Um, Wheel of Fortune, I feel like a fortune is coming towards you as well. Um, and that's part of your justice. Look, it's, it's all... I'm telling you, someone out there in the next five days, you're gonna, you could have a reunitement with your person. It's gonna bring a lot of happiness. 
and a lot of abundance and that's your justice for for some others of you it's just that it's going to be like a total awakening to your journey and who you are it's it's like a confirmation an eye opener right the light is going to be and on the bottom of the deck is the high priestess <laughs> cancer this is you 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 are so intuitively lit in the next five days what's going on in the next five days cancer wish fulfillment here um yeah this is this is wish fulfillment coming this could be your person's energy too you know your that your person you you are your person's wish fulfillment and they've been sitting on it Justice is coming here. Your first row. Your energy is amazing. I'm absolutely amazing. You're going to get a lot of clarity and some kind of confirmation that you are, in fact, on a twin flame soulmate journey. I think some of you, like, were second guessing it. Maybe because your person didn't come towards you. Okay? But this is like all the light being shed on this connection that's literally what i'm seeing everything is <laughs> it's the light it's just like complete and utter awareness here awareness um and happy yeah after a long period of waiting i feel like your person is coming in to have a victory with you yeah, they've waited too long. I think this person realizes that, um, yeah, they waited way too long. They sat here, I feel, knowing that your wish fulfillment, you know this too, and you're not speaking. If this person was thinking you were going to talk, that is not happening. You're the high priestess. The priestess, the high priestess does not speak. Mm -mm. This is this, the keeper of the secrets for the divine. It's like the divine shares the info with you. You may share things to the world, but what but certain things, you know, you don't and you're not going to approach this person. I feel like they're getting up on their horse here. They're picking up this staff, the one they have their hand on here. And they're going to start approaching you. I feel like there's other people in the background too that are maybe supporters of them but i feel like this is for you and you know it this could be something too that brings in uh that was on the bottom of the deck long term long lasting this person um this could bring in long lasting commitment i'm sorry i'm going from one message to the next long-lasting commitment uh, sometimes I see this as someone you haven't met yet but in this case I'm actually seeing it as well you could have met someone new maybe that's what this person is burdened by they don't want you to have this with someone else I'm telling you what man this person is coming towards you cancer they don't want you with anyone else yet this is a person I feel like they want to put the past pains behind them. I feel like this person's getting ready to speak, though. I feel like they don't want you to be with anyone else, and that's what they're thinking about. They're getting, they're coming towards you. They're getting on this horse, and they're coming towards you. I think they want to have a victory here with you. They're very burdened by this. Yeah, this, they're getting ready to talk. This is a very good communicator. You could be dealing with um, an air sign, uh, Aquarius maybe. They're very, very smart. Um, I kind of see this person as being large and in charge, you know. Um, but they're, they think about their communication. Like this person is thinking about how to strategically come forward and talk to you. They're resting right now on this. 
You know, this could be putting things to rest, but I think that's what they want to do. They want to put the past to rest here with you. But they don't want you to be with anyone else here. This person's coming in to communicate. They're going to pick up this sword here, which is this one. This person's getting ready to communicate with you, I'm telling you. Uh, because the divine is trying to bring you guys back together here. It, it was meant to be. <sighs> weird. The, those are the weird words coming off of my lips, I'm telling you. But yeah, you guys were, were supposed to end up together. You were supposed to be together. Um, yeah, here they come. I'm telling you, Cancer, they're coming. Yeah, they're, they're, they want to come and tell you how they feel about you. Now, the Knight of Cups, that's still real immature energy, all right? But this is, this could be considered as love bombing, but I feel like uh, this person's had other options. They may even still be connected to the devil energy. They have been in a third party situation here, reluctant to move forward. So, just be very careful, Cancer, um, with this one. Because you, uh, here's the thing, they've been in devil energy. They have been bound and stuck to the devil, okay? Um, but they've been kind of tortured in that situation. Look at how the devil is lighting their butt on fire. But the person that they're with, they're held in very, fairly high regard for keeping them bound, okay? You see, you could be dealing with the Capricorn too. But um, now this person, they were under some kind of illusion. It could have even been spell work or something here, even though I don't have the magician out here at all yet. But um, now they can see everyone clearly. Um, see, before, all of these clouds and this fog was in front of everybody, clouding their judgment. They, their judgment was very clouded here. That's why they couldn't make a clear decision. That's why they stood here for so long. There was something that they were offered from this devil that tempted them to stay, okay? And it clouded their clear judgment. Now, now, all of this fog and clouds, they're rolling back. They're being pushed back to expose everyone for who they truly are. Not just who they're with, this toxic individual, but you also. And you stand out above all others. Um, you've got this very powerful connection. You've got that powerful energy. You're very high vibing. You're a master manifester with the ability to manifest your own abundance here. Um, and, and they're seeing everyone else for what they are too. Snakes, dragons. Okay. And, and I feel like this is someone who's they've all always known what they wanted they've always wanted you but it was like they were under some kind of illusion okay is what i'm feeling because they were they were given what they wanted with this devil situation even though they've been tortured um so now the illusions are are come everything's coming out into the open i'm surprised i'm not seeing the judgment card out here um, this person is coming forward to offer their love to you, man. They're, they're, they're trying to think of a way, um, what to say, how to say it, because they know, they know they sacrificed just about the best thing ever here in, in a third party situation where they gave to the devil. I mean, come on. This is a choice this person is making here. See the choice right in between the lovers and the devil? It's a choice they're making here. That, that, that they're being kind of pushed by the universe to, to make a decision. You're not doing anything. You're on a spiritual journey. You're listening to the divine. It's bringing you to your fortune, your happiness, your justice. Yeah, but your person, it's your person who's been standing here in between making this, this choice. 
this decision between two, you and someone else. There's something permanent, like they feel permanently attached to somebody else. This could be a long-term commitment or something. But you, the one that they've had their hand on this whole time, this wand, they haven't let go of it through their whole journey. Look, they haven't let go of that one. That one wand. See? They haven't let go of your energy, man. They continuously think about you, maybe hoping for you to come forward to them, which is not happening. That's not happening. The high priestess is the most silent person in the whole entire deck. I am not kidding you. <laughs> the high priestess is her, she's known for being silent. Okay? So if this person was waiting for you to come forward to them, it's not happening. I feel like there's others encouraging them to come towards you, and they're doing it. They're just taking a, a moment to think about it. But yeah, they're, yeah, this is a decision that they have to make. Two, two of swords, two of wands, the, or the divine and the devil here. What's it going to be? And it's, it's not you that's asking them this. You're moving forward, I feel, into your justice one way or another. If your person doesn't choose the divine, you're still getting, you're moving forward into stability of fortune, your happiness, and everything will be balanced out for you, okay? Um, but your person will remain where they are. In toxicity, they're being urged. There you go. They're being urged to make a decision here between good and evil. It's really down to that. You've made your choice, Cancer. You're definitely, wow, to get all of those in your, yeah, that you've made your choice. But your, your, your person knows what they want, but they need to... They need to make a move, or they need to put forth some effort, or they need to communicate. They need to communicate, and they need to take some action. They need to talk and tell people what it is that they're thinking and feeling, what they want, make a decision, cut something out, and they need to take some action on it here. That's what this person needs to do. And, and they need to defend. They need to defend their choice not not be weak about it i just saw the defensive card so they need to defend their decision yep and with the page of cups here you could be dealing with a, a pisces then they need to do the right thing this person needs to do the right thing and apologize okay that's what the divine is urging them to do cancer i really kind of feel like you've stayed out of it uh, you have been on this journey the reason why i say that for real is because you you've only you're only looking at the messages you're getting from the divine all of your moves are being ordered by the divine okay and you're listening and you're obeying because you know it's brought you a lot of knowledge and a lot of abundance the reason why i know it's not working for your person is be whatever decision they're making is because wherever they are choosing here they're getting tortured with fire on their butt by the devil and everything is burning with more fire here in the background so you know you're you haven't been paying attention to them you're looking right at the divine it's your person who's watching you and i feel like up until this point up until now, they've been ignoring it. But this person can clearly see, I think now, that they can't ignore it anymore. This is like um, the light being shed on this, that this is actually a very important decision. Um, it will affect their future. And it's a choice between the, the divine and, and the devil. I don't know what else to, to say. Yeah. 
They could go with the divine here and go to ultimate happiness into a new cycle of abundance and justice, or they can stay with the devil where they're really not reaping a, any kind of reward or benefit. Um, and they'll have a fire lit under their butt and they're always going to be wanting to come towards you. That's kind of how I'm, I'm feeling like. This person knows... That, they do want to come towards you, let me tell you. They're in a lot of regret. A lot of regret here. You could be dealing with, let's just call out the signs for you guys, okay? Um, this is your energy and what's happening with you. But you could be dealing with a, a Libra, a Taurus, a Gemini, or a Leo. But really, I feel like the people, whoever it is you're dealing with is in this. Really, that's what I'm feeling like. So you could be dealing with the fire sign. You could be dealing with the Capricorn, a Pisces, an Aquarius, possible Libra, and Virgo. Yeah. All right, but this person here, um, they are there in so much regret. Um... They turn their back on the soulmate connection. They know they did over a third party. This is a person who stands between a choice. This two of cups, which I feel is you, the one they turn their back on, and this third party situation where they're here with the toxic individual, but the devil is actually calling all the shots. Um, they need to make a decision. This here that they're holding on to for some reason that seems fairly fairly permanent it's bracketed onto a wall um they know that all that they'll get out of this is blood and sand they know it it's it's this to, um soulmate connection that they regret turning their back on that's you but how to reach you after all of this that's what your person is afraid of because it's been a long time and you have learned the lessons from this last cycle crap and you're elevating now to a whole new level and into a new cycle where you're going to be extremely, extremely abundant. I'm telling you, the, a fortune is coming your way. A fortune is coming your way. Look at all this green around you, Cancer. You're highly intuitive connected to the divine high priestess energy there right um and you're moving forward and you're like looking back as if to say goodbye <laughs> bye that's kind of what you're doing because you know that it's almost like you're entering into the cycle feeling completely alone your friends you've had to get rid of i don't want to say get rid of but you've had to cut ties with people that don't serve you anymore, with people that are bad for you, basically. They don't do anything positive for you. That's what I mean. So, like, um, friends that were toxic, fake friends, karmic partners, um, karmic family members, people who just tried to keep you down, talk about you behind your back, and, and absolutely blow any kind of good opportunity that you have coming, those are the kind of people you're leaving behind. You're like, F them. I'm moving forward. Right? So this is like taking that one last look goodbye, that uh, last look back and saying goodbye to those who can't come with you anymore. But you're very balanced emotionally. So you can handle this now. The divine has led you through this journey to where... You're, you just feel free now walking away. Not, not in intense pain, but free. Okay? Do you see what I'm saying? And, and that elevates you. And it's, it, it, it allows you to receive blessings, okay, which are coming your way. And you're putting in the effort into yourself. But you know what? Your person sees this and they're like, oh, my gosh. That, this is you just floating away floating away to your, to what you're destined for. But here's the thing. It's showing me right here that this twin flame soulmate connection is part of your destiny. 
I feel like your person is realizing this, like down to their soul here, um, what they're facing. And I feel like they're about to make a decision and they're about to come and communicate with you because this is part of your destiny. Only a part, though. The rest, you know, is about self-love. You know, is about going forward independently, right? Yeah. Yeah. This person's getting ready to talk, though. Now they're realizing exactly what they've gotten themselves into. Basically, they're realizing what they've gotten themselves into. And... Um, Yeah, there's just an energetic pull towards you because that's the divine above you guys bringing that that um, connection back in. Um, your person could also already be committed. And I feel like there's um, someone, this person here, maybe the toxic individual that they're with is kind of sad. Or this could be your energy. But I'm not feeling that. I, I, uh, I feel like this is, this is whoever your person is with kind of breaking up here. And they're, both people are sad about it, though. Look at how they hang their head. I feel like this was about money as well. Could be about money, could be about sex, whatever situation this was in. Yeah, and there, I feel like this situation over here is ending, and this one here, this it's because your person can't stop thinking about you. It's because they can't stop thinking about you. Yeah. They cannot stop thinking about you. You, 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 Cancer. You're the Empress. You're every queen in the deck. You're very, very abundant. You know, um... This is somebody who's missing you. Thinking that they had that two of cups, that same two of cups there that they turned their back on right here, that's this. The cup that they extended and then pulled back and the and and your love that they turned their back on. That's that connection here. That's what they're missing. That's the one they turned their back on and that would be you. And you are the empress here. Wow. This person knows they turn their back on an empress. Everything is being made clear to this person. Yeah, king of pentacles energy. You could be dealing with um, an earth sign. That's why I was saying these two, these two are splitting. The king and queen of pentacles. I feel like it could have been about money. They may be left with just one pentacle after this split. But I feel like this person is choosing you. You're the one they regret walking away from. And here, the, the third party, this other situation here that they're in with the devil, um, they know that all that's left is blood and sand. This person really, I feel like they're coming towards you. Yeah, their wish fulfillment. And you're, you're extremely abundant. Whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is. See, this is a person who's showing themselves, I feel, in the public eye. The star. Lots of people watching you and paying attention to what you're doing, saying, showing, whatever. Any works of art that you're putting out there, anything, any posts, anything. I feel like you're a healer. You've got this beautiful healing energy here. And whatever it is that you're doing is, is creative. And I feel like it's making you extremely abundant. Extremely abundant. You've got nine pentacles here all to yourself. This is a single person. And the most you can have in the deck is ten. You're extremely intuitive. Look at how high vibing you are too. Look at all this freaking yellow. And your wish fulfillment, you just, you know, you shine right now. Cancer. And this person, man, this is what they want. They want their wish fulfillment. They want their healer. They want their empress. 
That's you. And I, I do. I feel like this person's coming forward, Cancer. I really do. Um, let's get some mixed emotions on it. And then, you guys, I'm going to take this into the extended, okay? I want to see how this person plans on, on coming forward. I want to see um, if anything is going to be... You know what happens what happens with this queen of pentacles here is this a clean break kind of thing i'm just going to dig a little deeper and see what we get so if you guys want to join me over to patreon there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box and i'll be right there as soon as i finish the video okay all right so let's see um how your person is feeling what's going on how are very discouraged yeah Because, see, here's the thing. Um, they may be a king of pentacles. This person could be very financially stable. But so are you. And you're someone who does not, you don't need anyone. You don't need anyone. So they already walked away from you before, turned their back on you before. And they're wondering, like, how do I come forward, right? What do I say? I mean, that's where this is. What do I say? Very, very burdened by this. They've been carrying this burden about talking to you, Cancer, for a very long time. It's been a heavy burden on this person. All right, how else do they feel? Yeah, so they're kind of discouraged, like... Will you even accept them? This is, yeah, and confused as to what direction to take, but very regretful. What did I say? Regretful. That's this. Regret, remorse, remorseful. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Same card. We were just talking about it. Very regretful. Yeah, because you know what? They... They had you at one point. They had you at one point, and they just let you go. They let you go. But look, all this person has to do is just kind of straighten out their body and reach or jump for this, and they can get it. But they're feeling like they can't, okay? They're feeling like they can't. So this is holding them back, this fear, you know? And it's making them feel like, you know, should they even try? But yeah, the divine is urging them, you know, reach out, leap for this, taking a leap of faith, right? A leap of faith. That means discouraged or not, you need to have faith to reach for the things that you want. Reach for them. Right? That's what this person is being urged to do. Yeah, they're sad. I'm seeing tears here. Yeah. How else does this person feel? They feel defeated. Disillusioned, though. I'm telling you, what did I say? What did I say? Where is it? Where is it? What did I say? They're seeing the illusions now for what everything truly is. They're seeing everything for, for what they truly are. Being disillusioned. Oh, powerless. Where did the dis disillusion card go? I just had it. Here it is. Disillusioned. Just wanted to show you that. I made a mess trying to prove it. Anyway, um, yeah, and they're feeling like their hands are tied. They feel powerless, ineffective. I think weak is the one that pops out at me the most. I think this person is just feeling in a weakened state right now. They don't feel strong enough to take a leap. You know, I feel like this person needs to spend some time healing, too, in between one relationship and another. I, I feel like this may be a pattern for this person. Um, so, you know, taking time for themselves to heal is uh, that's something that should always be suggested okay always um 
Yeah, they're confused. Bewildered. They're bewildered. I like that word. They are be Your person is so bewildered right now. <laughs> Actually, they just don't know what to say, how to say it. That's this person, once again, like I said, burdened, and this is them. What are they going to say? How are they going to turn this around? How could they have even let go of this in the first place? I mean, this is somebody's thoughts just completely jumbled in their head. This is them being stuck in their mind, too. Yeah. what They were wanting you to reach out to them. But like I said, the high priestess isn't going to do that. The high priestess is the most silent person in the deck. They're not going to hear from you. They're going to need to reach out if they want to speak, if they want this, if they decide it. You know, you're like at this point, you know, que sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. I've got my, I've got my stability. I'm running my business. I'm running the show. I'm connected to the divine. I don't feel alone because of that. I'm good. I'm good. That's what you're saying, right? So it's really, your person needs to make a decision here between the devil and the divine. And then they need to come and speak their truth. I mean, it is what it is. But man, I'm telling you though, if, you, if they heard anything from you, if you were to send them a one word text message that made no sense, this person would be on top of it, man, on top of it, reading that thing like over and over and over again yeah they just they would be welcoming to anything you have to say you know um but you're not speaking they're not going to hear from a high priestess mm -mm. no 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 let's see where it cut yeah they need some encouragement that would make them feel encouraged but no they're not going to hear from a high priestess in Empress Energy. They're just not. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. They're just, no, I don't see you. I don't see any of, any of you making a move forward towards this person whatsoever. Um, sorry about that, Cancers. I don't know what just happened. My camera just sort of turned off. Um, yeah, this person, they, you know, they know they didn't have any compassion for you when they when they broke your little wing okay and now because of that don't be cruel to a heart that's true i'm hearing don't be cruel to a heart that's true i don't want no other love maybe baby it's just you i'm thinking of yeah they were cruel to a true heart and now because of that, they feel heartless. Like, like nothing fulfills them anymore. There's no passion for life. There's no zest for anything. They're not excited about anything. They don't feel happy about anything. You know, their, their, true, um, their true heart is, is over here, listening to the divine, following a divine path. Yeah, without you, they feel incomplete and unfulfilled. Yeah. Anyway, Cancers, listen, that's what I got um, for this reading today. Um, I will take this into the extended, so I'll see you over there for those of you who are interested. And um, hey, until next time, take care of you, my darlings. Oh, if you like this video, click the like button, guys, before you leave. Um, show the love, right? Um, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Join the team. We'd love to have you. And until next time, Cancers, take care of you and peace out.